Chapter 4, Refraining from Sin The seeker must control his limbs from committing sins. He should only use them in acts of obedience, and perform those actions that will benefit him in the hereafter. He must strive hard to protect his tongue, which is small in size, but its sin is great. Refrain from lying, backbiting, and all speech that is forbidden. He must protect himself from obscene words, and delving into that which does not concern him, even if it is not forbidden. That is because such speech hardens the heart, and it wastes time. Instead, the seeker should only occupy himself with recitation of the Qur'an, dhikr, giving good counsel to a Muslim, either encouraging him towards good, preventing him from committing wrong, or by attending to his worldly needs which will benefit his hereafter. The Prophet wasallam said, Every speech of the son of Adam is against him, except for the remembrance of Allah, or counseling to good, or preventing from wrong. Know that hearing and sight are two open doors to the heart. Everything that enters them will travel to the heart. How many things does a person see and hear that he shouldn't? And its effect settles upon his heart, which is then difficult to remove, for the heart is affected very swiftly by that which enters it. And when something affects it, it is hard to remove it. Therefore, the seeker should eagerly protect his hearing and sight, and must work hard to restrain all his limbs from committing sins and doing anything more than necessary. The seeker must be wary of viewing the beauty of worldly ornaments with admiration, as there is deception in its outward and admonition in its inward. The eye observes its deceptive appearance, but the heart perceives the hidden admonition. How many a seeker looks at worldly splendors, and his heart becomes attached to it. He then makes every effort to acquire it. You must, O seeker, look away from all created things, and only look at them when you intend to reflect. In other words, when you do look, remember that it will disappear and be gone. It will be non-existent as it was before it was created. How many a man admired material things, who then passed away, while the things remained? and generation after generation inherited it. When you do look at the creation, then observe it in a way that makes you admire the power and perfection of the Creator. Exalted is He. Every creature utters according to its state, There is no God but Allah. The exalted, the wise, and their speech is perceived by those with enlightened hearts.